Hey guys, it's Michelle and welcome back to my channel, Mickey Lee Creates. And in today's video, it'll be another grocery haul, meal plan, and a clean with me. I think I'm gonna clean up my car today. It is absolutely gorgeous outside. Fall is trying to start hitting here in Maryland. Um, you never know, it'll tease you and it'll be great. It'll be cool and, and nice and you're excited and the next thing you know, you're back in 85 humidity. So we'll see. Right now, today it's gorgeous, so I will definitely be cleaning out my car and probably just cleaning up a little bit here and there. Luckily, I don't have too much to actually catch up on, so I'm excited about that, just some laundry. But let's go ahead and get into the video. Okay, meals of the week for September 27th through October 3rd. Monday is Alice Springs chicken with mashed potatoes and some type of veg. I did not make this, I think it was like two weeks ago or it could have been last week, I can't remember, but I didn't make it, so I incorporated it into this menu. Tuesday is chicken and steak fajitas with nachos. Wednesday, it's a crock pot meal. It's a creamy chicken over rice. And I think I'll have like peas and corn and other veggies in it all mixed in together. Thursday, I think this is another crock pot one. I think I'm gonna try to cook it in the crock pot. It's sun dried chicken pasta. I will not be cooking the pasta in the crock pot, but the chicken I will be. Dinner is out on friday or however which day i pick saturday is chili cheese hot dogs with fries and macaroni and cheese and sunday is meatloaf with mashed potatoes and salad all right so this week i did get some brioche hot dog buns for the chili cheese hot dogs never used these before so hopefully they're good they look good so hopefully they they turn out the way i want them to i'm pretty sure they will i've had the top open hot dog buns before i've used those just i think they were pepperidge farm and not the brioche one so we'll see i grabbed some bagels because i might take those into work with me i'm not really sure yet but we'll just see what i'm in the mood for i picked up some little cupcakes and even though bradley is grown and kayshawn is grown i did buy some the other day and they were gone <laughs> so they enjoy them so i picked up some more i did get some cornbread that is gonna go I bought it for one of the meals and I honestly can't remember. I think it might be this, the pasta that I bought it for. I think, I can't remember, but I picked some of those up, got those. I did grab some more honey made graham crackers to have at work. Cause like I said, sometimes I need something quick. Um, where I work, I'm at a desk where I check people out once they're done their appointment. So I have to have something really quick. I picked up another little thing of rice to have I think I have some in the pantry but it doesn't hurt to have extra I picked up some paper plates we do not use these every day but sometimes when I just don't feel like having a bunch of dishes in the sink or it's something quick then we'll just grab those I did manage not manage I did pick up some Colby and Monterey Jack cheese I needed some more of that to shred of course regular yellow American some Nathan's hot dogs. These are the jumbo restaurant style beef franks, so I bought those. Actually, I thought these were bigger. I'm gonna have to go get I'm gonna have to get another pack of those. I didn't even realize there was only that many in there. I don't know. Um, I did get some turkey kielbasa. I eat this in the morning, like on the weekends. I like to have it in the morning. I don't know if anybody else does that. Sounds I mean, I don't know if that's weird, but I've always done it. I did get some more old bay because we have to have an Old Bay, especially here in Maryland, and I was almost out. Two cans of cream of chicken soup, so two of those, yeah. Some refried beans for my fajitas. Two sticks of butter, or two, four, or two packs of four sticks of butter. I have not been able to find the great value. They didn't have it last week and they didn't have it this week. So I just got the challenge butter. It's fine. I mean, it's it's salt to butter. It tastes good. They did not have my whipped butter. So I am going to have to go to the grocery store and see whether or not they have it there. Walmart was out of a lot of stuff. And I don't know. I know they've switched their app. So it used to be where it was just pick up on one side and then shop online on the other. And now they've combined it. And I've been having a lot of issues with it, like trying to find stuff that they may have that they say they don't have. And so this time when I did my grocery haul, I ended up having to go inside to get some of the things they said that they didn't have, but they actually did have. So I, 
and it's not the shopping or the shoppers that shop for you it's the app so I don't know what's going on I don't know if it's just got to work out some kinks or what but I did get some more dog food this time I just got a small one the 12 count I bought some semi-sweet chocolate chips and milk chocolate chocolate chips I am going to try to make cookies this weekend and back there I just picked up some donuts yeah they're a little messed up because again I had to run to the store and I didn't bag it very well but just some chocolate donuts I did buy my oldest son some glazed donuts and took them by his house for him and his girlfriend I bought another thing a vegetable oil spray and I did buy three things of chicken that was a pretty it's like a big chunk of the budget it was like $30 for chicken because it's gone up so it's over like ten dollars a thing of chicken but we had a lot of chicken recipes and i love chicken so but thirty dollars for that and then i did go in this is another thing i had to go in for they had um they were showing they didn't have any donut shop coffee whatsoever when i went inside they did now they didn't have the smaller boxes they only had these bigger boxes so that cost a little bit more money but it's 60 of them and it won't it'll last us for a little bit well my husband i don't drink coffee it'll last him and my son for a little bit so i won't have to buy it again probably for another three weeks or so so i got that then I, when i was in there which i shouldn't do i go in there and then i end up finding more stuff i bought one of these elf i think this one is oh this is the eyeliner so i'm going to try this eyeliner pen by them i've never tried it and this is the brow brush I think I have bought one. I have one. It's from Wet n Wild and I absolutely love it. So I'm going to try theirs and see. And then I bought some cuticle oil because I wear press on nails and they're from Red Aspen. I absolutely love their nails. They say they're reusable. I don't reuse mine, but for $13, you get two sets of nails. So I was going to the nail place to get my nails done and it was costing me 30 some dollars every two weeks I can wear these for about two to three weeks and then take them off and have another set ready to go for when I want to for $13 so I have a month's supply of nails for $13 I haven't gone back to the nail place I love these nails they're absolutely great they are very durable hold up through anything but the nail cuticle oil is what helps you can help get them off so I don't necessarily have to soak them off like with acetone and stuff like that so um, the cuticle oil I had was kind of on the older side so I bought some new stuff to see how it works to get it off and it does is whatever the glue is it's like a more of a natural glue and the oil breaks it down so I did need some more of uh, deodorant for myself and then back here I bought these let me put them up here oh well oh this one the thing oh there it is I bought I'm sorry guys five gallon stir sticks I am going to use these you only get a three pack they're 97 cents and I'm going to cut off up here but you'll see what I'm going to do with them I'm going to use these to make a um faux well not faux wood because it's wood but a wood planter out of the plastic planters that your plants and stuff come in like i said the other weekend or two weekends ago my husband and i planted all new tree or bushes and of course we had all the plastic planters i'm going to reuse those make a wooden basket or wooden planter out of them and put my mums in for fall when i do my fall front porch and that'll be coming in a little bit but guys this is all that I got for this weekend oh nope again as usual I always forget something I did go ahead and buy an uh, this mop the O-Cedar easy ring mop I see everyone on YouTube the cleaning channels that I watch that they use this and I was like well why don't I try it I love it because it looks like the mop handle and I've seen them use it to clean their walls and I think that is awesome because i don't i love cleaning my walls but i hate bending down it kills my back doing all that so i'm going to try this see how it works use it on my floors and i'll keep my steam mop that i have upstairs because i don't have as many floors it's more carpet up there than it is actual floor so i'm going to try this see how it works and then um i'll let you know but 
it looks everybody that i see using it looks pretty good so we'll try it all right guys this is my haul i promise this time it really is i hope you guys have a great weekend have a great rest of your day and i'll see you in the next one bye so in this clean with me i am just going to be washing my car um as like i've said before i only have a certain um, time length that I'm able to actually upload again I don't know if it's just because I'm doing it from my iPad or what so it's kind of definitely shortened and sequenced but it's just something a little different and as always I hope you guys like this kind of video if you do let me know again please like comment and subscribe I love new viewers I love new subscribers and as always guys have a great rest of your day and I'll see you in the next one bye